Putin is already prepared for a small operation against NATO frontier states in northeastern Europe. The head of Polish military counterintelligence has warned that Russian President Vladimir Putin is already prepared for a small operation against NATO frontier states in northeastern Europe as the alliance seeks to deter aggression from Moscow while bolstering Ukraine against the ongoing Russian invasion. Putin is certainly already prepared for some mini-operation against one of the Baltic countries. Jaroslav Strozik, who was appointed to lead the Polish military counterintelligence service in March, told the Zinik Gazeta Prana publication. Strozik suggested the Kremlin's revanchist goals have been somewhat checked by the NATO response to its war on Ukraine. What the West is doing together to support Ukraine shows him that in the event of an attack on NATO, the Western response would be even greater, the spy chief said. According to Newsweek, much of the Russian military strength typically arrayed along NATO frontiers has been redeployed to Ukraine, where Moscow's forces have sustained severe casualties for relatively little gain. But Allied leaders have repeatedly warned that Russia intends to regenerate its military to threaten NATO borders while maintaining and expanding covert and hybrid operations. In this case, more than 90,000 troops from all 32 NATO member states are taking part in exercise Steadfast Defender, of which swift response is a part with drills including air assaults, armor maneuvers and fire support taking place in locations including Estonia, Sweden, Poland, North Macedonia, Romania, Hungary and Moldova. The mission, Swift Response, is being carried out by British-led forces in Estonia as part of NATO's biggest military exercises since the end of the Cold War, ranging from the Baltics to the Balkans. It comes amid an increasingly heated confrontation with Moscow following Vladimir Putin's invasion of Ukraine. There has been repeated warnings from the opposing sides, NATO and Moscow, of a potential conflagration. What is unfolding in Estonia are the opening salvos of what a modern conflict between great powers would be like, with the Western alliance making a stand on its eastern flank. A video footage of Israeli tanks entering the Palestinian side of the Rafah crossing in Gaza has emerged. The video also shows other military equipment as well as soldiers moving in the area. Israel took control of Gaza's Rafah border crossing on Tuesday morning after Hamas military group accepted the Egyptian Qatari ceasefire deal. Israel said the deal did not meet its core demands. Aid flows to the area have reportedly stopped. Israel urged tens of thousands of Palestinians to evacuate the southern border town after having vowed for weeks to push into Rafah. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu called the capture of the Rafah crossing an important step toward dismantling Hamas capabilities. Capturing the area gave Israel a full control over the entry and exit of people and goods for the first time since it withdrew soldiers and settlers from Gaza in 2005. Israel had threatened a full ground invasion of Rafah despite an international outcry and calls for a ceasefire. Thank you.